Today I'm going to talk to you about edge stands. I use the edge stand to work on pieces vertically. So I can actually make repairs on it, or I can sand, I can edge band, and it just keeps everything nice and stable. And I basically use it to help protect my, my pieces as well. Uh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take some, some carpet, we're going to wrap it around down inside, and down along the bottom, and up the other side and back down again. And this is actually going to create a cushion, so you'll be easy be able to slip the piece in. It'll be in a, in a lot of control, and yeah, it does prevent from accidents from happening. I can either put this on the floor, so I can work on a on the edge up here, and I'll use it with taller pieces like that, or I can just if I need to work on a workbench, I'll put it at one end, and and then I can work a lot up and down the length. So let's get started. This is my base. My base is slightly bigger. Um, so this would be an 18 inch and this one here is 17 and 3 quarters. So I got a little bit of, of inset on the other side of the piece that's going to fit just nice and within that, just within that range. So, and that's just a precautionary measure um, just because my carpet's going to overhang. So again, if my piece comes in and if I hit that edge, it's going to hit the carpet, not the wood. So let's get started on this. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, mark out two inches on one end here, mark out the other two inches here, take your straight edge, and mark it down. Okay, so we know where it is. kind of sink my, my uh, holes and again you go about one inch on away from the side make sure you counter sink it nicely okay turn around the other side and, be, and I'm gonna do one and then roughly around the middle one in between there because I do want a nice strong rigid hold and and make sure the piece doesn't weigh, sway away back and forth very much. We want it nice and fairly tight fit. And with that, just get rid of some of the splinters on the bottom here. So, I'm gonna wanna mark on center here. Again, use your finger as a little guideline. Eyeball it, nice and on center, looks good. And we're gonna do the same thing there. Okay. So now I can see where my on center is. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this first piece.